Good morning, fellas. It is a warm, rainy day today. We're looking probably like 45 degrees right now, so it's nice and warm, which that could be a bad thing. And it's been raining all night long, and I think it's finally stopped. I'm wearing my rain jacket, though, just in case. I'm going to be taking the quack yak out again. Just got it grassed in a little bit more. It seems like every time I take it out, I'm just kind of adding a little bit more grass because when I'm using it and when I'm like driving on the road, grass kind of comes off. So it's, it's kind of like a, a repetitive process. I don't really want to zip tie stuff on there. I don't know why, I just don't. I've got one and a half dozen decoys, one spinner, a shotgun, and the kayak. So we're gonna get out there. We're gonna be hunting a marsh with a south wind. Could be okay. We're all ready to go. The rain's kind of starting back up again. Just a little, little sprinkle here. But spread looks good. The blind looks A1, freaking fire here. So I'll try and show you guys the blind uh, towards the end of the video when I'm done here. But um, yeah, it looks really good. I tell you what, the portage getting in here was freaking horrible. I'm so fatigued at this point. I think there's about 40 pounds of grass on this 89 pound kayak. I mean, this kayak's got to be 160, 170 pounds total with everything in it. So pulling that thing up an incline like that when it's muddy and slippery, it was hard. It was, it was freaking hard, but we did it. We're here. Blind looks good. Decoys look good. Wind's good. And there's a little sprinkle in there. I guess um, we'll hang. I guess we'll just hang out and wait for the ducks to show up. I, I really hope they do show up. There you go, shot him right in the mouth. It's been a very, very weird morning for me today. I got like three hours of sleep last night, so that probably doesn't help, but there's some guys, there's like two or three other groups in this marsh, all on this side. So it's like every, like, I think this group behind me is maybe 75 yards away, maybe. I don't know if they were here first or whatnot, but I didn't even know they were here until they started calling, so um, that kind of happens. But I'm up to one ring neck. I don't know if I got that first one or not. I really don't. I'm going to go look. I feel like I drilled it, but I might have completely missed it and hit that second one. I don't know. I don't know. This will be very interesting. It's competition now, so it's like... We get birds, and then it's just like the birds are so confused they don't know what to do. Oh, good old public land always makes you scratch your head and make you wonder what the heck you're doing out here. We got one duck, we're not skunked. We got plenty of mooring left, the ducks are flying. There's a lot more here than I thought there were. So, we'll get after it. <coughs> That was rough. Okay, I just made a move. I moved spots, moved a little farther down, probably 150 yards. Uh, not much, but I'm kind of right at the edge here, so as far down as I can get. Um, the wind isn't the way I thought it was gonna be, but that's okay. Yeah, I, I just packed up, moved down. That'll probably give us, both of our groups, a better chance to shoot some ducks. It's, it's real tough to get ducks to commit when you have two decoy spreads right next to each other. So, this will probably be the best move. I don't like this wind with how my decoys are, but we'll let it ride. <laughs> Ring neck. 
I didn't even see them come in. I just looked up and they were there. <laughs> all kinds of divers lately. <laughs> Ooh. You know, I'm starting to like these birds more and more. Real confidence boosters. They gotta be the stupidest duck out there, but they're fun to shoot. Not too bad to eat either. Wouldn't it be something to kill a limit of these guys? <laughs> Let's see if we can get some hours to come in. That sure would be nice. Another one bites the dust. Ringneck Drake. I'll take it. A little confidence booster birds there. Let's see if we can get some fat Milardos in here. That'd be nice. Four more ducks to go. I think the, I think moving spots definitely helped. Uh, we'll find out once the mallards really come in here thick because you, you'll notice it when mallards work they'll work your spread and then they'll work somebody else's spread and then they'll go back and then go back and forth and they'll never fully commit gosh they're, they're so close maybe I set up on them I really don't know but it doesn't matter we're, we're all killing ducks out here so okay let's kill some more <laughs> I just made my third and hopefully final move for today's hunt. It's only like 9 30, 10 o'clock, so like there's no point in packing up and getting out of here. I moved to a very far part of the marsh here. I see nobody, I hear nobody. It's blissful. <laughs> and uh, over there, that's that that's a blind that Blake and I hunted out of that one day when there's like snow everywhere. Also, this is a better spot because the wind's changing from going south to north. So I'm set up better for a north wind here as well. So I don't know. Hopefully the ducks will fly. It's starting to sprinkle a little bit. I'm no longer cold and wet and in the wind. So that's a plus in my book as well. Hopefully this plays out. I just need to shoot four ducks. But it's really like I'm kind of scratching my head about that first one. I thought I hit it, but it was nowhere to be found. Maybe I completely missed it. I shot it and I looked over real quick. So like I didn't necessarily see it fall. I just had this feeling that I hit it like I was on it. But maybe I wasn't. Um, hopefully this plays out. Are you serious right now? I just wanted to pull the mojo. Another one. Three ring necks. I was out of the blind pulling the lucky duck <laughs> because I, I swear they're flaring on it. Cloudy day, later in the season. Yeah, just probably pull it, but good sign. That right there, that's a good sign. Oh, ring neck number three for today. Ring necks, bro. Like, ring necks have got to be some of the stupidest birds out there. Like, I say gadwalls are easy to decoy, but ring necks, God, they're stupid. But I was, I went out to pull the lucky duck because I think the birds are flaring on it and they're not liking it. So I was getting that. These two kind of buzz around me. I run back, try and grab my gun to shoot them. They fly away, and I get sit back down and do something, and they come back. <laughs> I shoot one. Ain't that something? <sighs> We're going places here. Three, three ring necks. I'm freaking soaked to the bone and freezing. It's about noon, so I think I'm gonna call it a day here. Pick up the decoys and hit the road. Hunting in the rain isn't bad. It just sucks. That's all I gotta say. I'll meet you guys at the truck. It feels so good to be back. My uh, wrist muscles are just dead. There's nothing left of them. Because that portage, it's like thick, sticky mud and taking this 200 pound rig across it. Ugh. 
I don't want to do that again. That was bad. I don't really know what to say about this hunt other than it was odd. It wasn't an ordinary hunt for me. I've never spot hopped like that ever, as far as I know. And, uh, you know, public land on a Saturday, what can you expect? You're gonna have people everywhere. So I tried my best to work with what I had and we ended the day with three ring necks. It's funny because I shot one duck at each spot I hunted. So, you know, one wasn't better than the other. I was kind of hoping it would have turned out to be like a, a video title, like I moved and it worked great or something like that. And yeah, you know, and I don't think I've ever been happier to shoot ring necks than I have today. Like it was just a rough day for the public land grind. And you know, I was grinding all day long, let me tell you. But uh, check these birds out. They don't look too bad. They're kind of cool, I like them. They're, they're all drakes, so there's that, there's a plus. But ring neck drakes are kind of cool looking. I'm starting to like them more and more as I start shooting them more. They're just easy birds. <laughs> yep. I really didn't have much of a chance to shoot mallards today because of where everybody was set up in the marsh at the time when the mallards really kind of came through thick. And I just, when I moved to that south spot, it was like, you know, it, it wasn't gonna work. All the birds were going to the other side. So you win some and you lose some. And today is kind of like middle of the road. It was definitely interesting. And there's always another day to shoot a limit of mallards. And I hope tomorrow's that day. I've got a good hunt lined up for tomorrow. So I'm excited. Overall, this hunt wasn't great. It wasn't bad, kind of middle of the road hunt. It's definitely interesting. If you guys want to pick up a hat like this one or a hoodie like this one or a Mallards Bro hat, Mallards Bro shirt, you name it, there's a link in the description of this video. If you guys are still sticking around and watching this video and you have questions about my kayak, it is an Old Town Topwater 120. I have a link to the website in the description of this video. And the blind I have on it is the Redhead Kayak Blind, okay? So it's not a layout blind, not some, it's, a, it's designed for a 12 foot kayak, actually the Ascend kayaks, but I'll get to that in a different video. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and also hit the like button. It means a lot when you guys do that. Go ahead and follow me on my social media. I've got Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. Follow me on there and stay up to date with what's going on. But that is all that I've got for you guys today. I'm gonna head home, cook up some eggs, and take a fat nap. And I will catch you guys on the next one.